Uh, my current role here at the Williams Arms is that uh, two of us run the kitchen between us as sort of a joint head chef role. Uh, myself, I've been at the Williams Arms now for over 18 and a half years. Uh, what's kept me at the Williams Arms is the fact that I really enjoy doing what I'm doing and it, there's never a dull moment. It keeps throwing up something new on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, well, since I've been here, I've found that my, my food as a chef has, has probably evolved into slightly more refined, uh, a little bit more chefy, so, so to say, but they still retain a lot of the basics and always try to maintain that the, the good food doesn't have to be complicated. It just needs to be good food done well. It doesn't it, keep it simple. You don't need too many. I personally find, find you find too many, too many ingredients and you, you can lose what you're actually trying to produce. Uh, the first dish I'm going to show today is the, a chicken, leek and smoked bacon pie. To make the pie we'd start off with a nice finely diced onion, uh, just lightly softened in some, some butter. Uh, once that's softened we'd add in some white wine, uh, just bring that to the simmer, uh, then add some flour. Uh, then once, once I've made the roux and cooked that out, uh, we'd start add, gradually adding the um, chicken stock and uh, once I've achieved the appropriate consistency of a smooth sauce, uh, I would just leave that to simmer to one side. Then in a separate pan, I'd uh, start to fry off the, uh, the pre-diced chicken, uh, just ensuring it's cooked on all sides and it's lightly browned and then add to the, add to the sauce. Uh, yeah, then next in, in the same pan then, I would uh, take the, uh, smoke, the smoke bake on uh, pieces then and uh, just lightly fry those so they've got a slightly brown finish to them and add those to the sauce. Uh, then take the, uh, the shredded leeks and again in the same pan, just lightly fry those and uh, add those to the sauce. Uh, yeah, so once we've added everything into the pan, uh, we simmer for about the 10 to 15 minutes to ensure the chicken's cooked through thoroughly. Uh, the next stage, once everything's in the pan and it's all simmering away, uh, having checked the seasoning then, is to, is to finish by adding uh, a meadowland or a cream. We just, just pour the meadowland in and just gently, gently stirring it into the, into the, into the sauce. Uh, to get to a, the appropriate consistency of it basically just, just holds it on as it runs off the spoon. Something not too thin so it runs like, a, like water or anything, but something not too thick that it holds to the spoon. Uh, I use Meadowland in the recipe in the making of the pie uh, because as, as we're working with a lot of high heat and finishing through the oven, uh, we need something that isn't going to split. I mean, the last thing you want during a busy service is to have something that splits and have to stop and start again and then the customer's waiting. Uh, once we've got the finished mix, uh, we tend to transfer that then into, into a pie dish, uh, top with a puff pastry and then like I say, finishing, finishing the combination oven. Then. Once the pie's finished in the oven, uh, we take it and uh, place it onto the plate. Uh, we serve it with uh, some freshly cooked peas, which we do for each service or each sitting. And then we finish it off with the good old classic accompaniment of pie and chips. So what could be better than that? And there we have the uh, chicken leek and smoked bacon pie of the Williams Arms.